And we are back. This is The Mandalorian, Season 3, Episode 1. The show is finally back after... Over two years. Season 2 ended at the end of 2020. Well, there was the Book of Boba Fett last year that had some Mandalorian stuff. But if we're talking the show overall, it's been over two years. But Season 3 is finally here. I'm so excited! We're going back to Mandalore. We're getting more Bo-Katan. I'm so excited, honestly. <sighs> this show, I always get excited for this show. I just hope this season doesn't break me like last one did. I was not prepared for that finale. Even two years later, damn. Hmm, but it's okay. Going with a positive mindset. If it breaks our hearts, we'll cry together, like I always say. <sighs> so yeah, I'm not too sure what to expect. I mean, obviously we're going to Man we're going to go to Mandalore. We already know that. And I'm pretty. I'm, I think it was already confirmed Moff Gideon's going to come back. I'm not too shocked about that. But I love the actor, so I'll take more Gideon. What I'm curious about is, what kind of surprises we're in for? Because it feels like every season, there's always a lot of surprises, especially, especially toward the end, and in, the, in the finale. Like season one had the Darksaber, season two had Luke. So that makes me wonder, what surprises are we in for this season? I'm not ready, I'm really not. But even though I'm not ready, I'm still very, 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 very hyped. Oh, we're making a helmet. Oh, that looks so fucking cool. God, I fucking miss this show. I shall never remove my helmet. From this moment on, I shall never... Oh. So we're going to Mandalore. We already knew that, but I'm excited to go. He's so entranced. Ooh. He wants to touch it. Do you remember your old friend? Yeah.
Mando! Oh my god, I've missed you. <laughs> I heard you. I still can't believe it's been two over I two fucking it. years. It's like it's been longer. That's High Magistrate Carter to you. Oh, good for you, sir. Gum. Available right down here by the flats. I appreciate the offer. I feel like every, ep Perhaps every episode of me just watching this show is just me screaming about how cute he is. I thought you had. <laughs> You have no idea who you're fucking with, dude. <laughs> and there you go. Shark. That Navarro is no longer friendly to pirates. Now get out of here. Bye. Oh. Still want that drink? I need him back. Oh. Over here. IG-11 was destroyed. We're gonna bring him back? This is just a statue. These are his parts, are they not? I mean, what's the Alright, I didn't see that coming. We I guess we're bringing him back. We were lucky to recover any of them. Oh fuck! Oh, it's, it's his original programming. He was originally supposed to kill him. Okay, so we just gotta make some modifications. Randall, shoot it! Shoot it! using your head. I think he defaulted to his old programming. Yeah. You think? Creepy. If you can get a new part, he says he can fix it. No! 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 Damn pirates. Oh, it's this guy again. Down forward, my brothers in cold blood. We have pirate King Dorian Shards, man. Now you answer to him. Dude, you have no idea who you're messing with. Oh. Target lock on us. We should go. Kid, never trust a pirate. Well, bye, Captain. Why do I feel like we're gonna see them again? Bokatan, this Din Djarin. Queen? Thank you. So let's go. And I will find out if the planet is really poisoned. God, my body is ready. Goodbye, Dinjarin. Oh, I'm sure we'll see each other again. No. Okay, is it just me or did that go by really fast? Because I went back and looked at the timestamps. So the episode was 38 minutes, but there's always like, the credits are always like 4 or 5 minutes, so it was like 33 minutes. So this was, this was really fast. If there's one thing this show excels at, it's leaving me wanting more every time an episode ends. <sighs> that was really good though. Like, I kind of like that we just kind of... It was very fast paced and we kind of dived into the storyline of the season quickly. So obviously we all knew we were going to go to Mandalore. That's where we're going now. And we're definitely going to see bo again. We're going to be seeing probably a lot more of her this season. I am kind of surprised 
that she didn't challenge him for the dark saber. I thought she was going to. So I am kind of surprised. I mean, it could it could happen at some point. We have seven more episodes. But I was kind of surprised she didn't. I'm kind of part of me's kind of glad because. I don't want Bo-Katan to become like a full-on villain for Mando. Do I think she might become a little bit of an, anta of an antagonist? I don't know, maybe, but a full-on villain? I don't see it. I don't see it. But we're definitely going to be seeing more of her. That's obvious. I'm so glad this show is back. Like, I feel like every time I watch an episode of the show, it's literally just me going crazy over how cute Grogu is. Like literally every time he's on the screen, even if he's not making any cute noises, he's just sitting there. I'm just like, he's so cute. Literally. Every time he's on screen. I'm not kidding. We got some really cute moments with him and Mando this episode. It makes me, I know it's probably not, I know a lot of people were, dis were disappointed that they reunited on Book of Boba Fett mainly because we hadn't really seen Mando with much time without him. I'm probably the I know I'm probably the minority. I'm glad they did reunite because I don't know if I would have been able to handle an entire season without him and Grogu. Because to me, their relationship has always felt like the heart and soul of the show. I mean, I can do, I, can, I do kind of understand people that wanted them to be separated for a little while longer. That I completely understand. Just for me, it would have felt weird. But yeah, this episode was a really good start to the season. The Mandalorian theme never gets old. Like, the opening sequence, I thought that was a flashback at first, but no, it actually wasn't. And then he comes in with the Mandalorian theme, like, God, I miss this show. And then when it was, like, synchronizing with the music when he was fighting off with the pirates, I feel like we're gonna, I feel like we're gonna see the pirates again. I don't know why, just like, I don't think they're like gonna have too much of a big, big role, but I feel like we're gonna run into them again at some point. And I'm kind of glad we saw Vogue in this episode. I didn't think we were gonna see her this episode. I thought it would be like next episode, but I'm really glad that we got her at the end. I love bo -Katan, so I'm glad we got a little bit of her this episode. But yeah, we'll be seeing a lot more of her this season, definitely. I just, I feel like this season is going to be, like, huge. Like, I know the first two seasons were pretty big, too, but I feel like something is going to happen this season that's going to just be, like, fucking huge. I can't, I can't explain it. I feel like the last few episodes are going to be, like, fucking insane. Because when I watched the season two finale, that shit gave me chills, and that was heartbreaking. Beautiful, but heartbreaking. And as, I'm glad to know we're getting a fourth season. Like we've known, we've, we've known about a fourth season for like a while now. I think it's I think it's confirmed. It's already been it's already been written and planned. So it's good to know we're getting another season after this. I feel like this is a show that could go on for not a long time, but there's a lot. Basically, there's a lot they could do with it. Yeah, I would say overall that was a good start to the season. Like I said, it was really fast paced. I'm glad that we kind of just got into the storyline quickly. Although I do wish the episode was a little, was a little longer because that shit went by fast. Like really fast because it was overall 38 minutes. But the credits are always like four or five minutes. So it was like 33 minutes. Maybe next week's will be longer. Won't well, know until next Wednesday. <sighs> also, just a little pre-warning. If you see a slight blur in this reaction, just a little slight blur over the footage, it's because copyright. Disney tends to be a little unpredictable. So whenever I react to a Disney show, not specifically Disney+, Plus, but just a show that's owned by Disney, 
I, if I use a slight blur, everything's fine. So if you see a slight blur, it's because of copyright. It's just, it's not a big blur, but it's noticeable. It always works though, so that's why I use it. So just wanted to put that out there. If you see a blur, that's why, that's why. Because of copyright. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. That was The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 1. I can't wait to go to Mandalorian. Like, I'm so excited. Like, but at the same time, it's going to give me war flashbacks. Like, just going into the room with Bo-Katan, like, when I think of Man- I think of a lot of things when I think of Mandalore, like, I think of Maul, and I think of Previsla. I wonder if they'll mention Satine. But yeah, overall, I'm ready. Like, I, I honestly, I, I'm just fucking ready. It's- I've missed this show so much, like, when the episodes end, it's like, no. That's what sucks about waiting a week. It's like, I kind of like waiting a week because it allows everyone to like theorize what's going to happen next. But at the same time, it sucks because it well, it also builds hype for the next episode. But at the same time, it sucks because it's like, if you're like me and you're impatient, it sucks. But like I said, it does build hype for the next episode and makes you want to watch it. So... Still sucks though. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this premiere and your overall thoughts for the remainder of the season and what you think is going to happen. And I will see you guys next time.